Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Open your Bible in John 14, 30. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. John 14, 30. Our Lord Jesus made a, a standing statement talking about the devil. Um, and we have to see and listen carefully what the Lord Jesus saying. Every statement of the Lord Jesus may we have to pay attention to it. In John 14, verse 30, he says, I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has nothing in me. Amen? When the Lord Jesus is talking about the devil, about the devil, he says, Amen? And he called the devil the ruler of this world. Why? Because since the fall of Adam in the garden, the devil started having control in this world system and man, man manipulating everything, taking advantage of man, taking advantage of the witness of man to do his will. Man. So that's why Jesus called the devil, the ruler of this world. Okay. Hallelujah. Even because Adam, Adam gave him this authority, this power, and the devil continued being the ruler of this world system because the devil had power in men, and those men and women they haven't received Jesus in the heart, those they haven't been born again, those they are not yet a new creature, that they will have control over them, over their life, over all the system of this world. Amen? Uh, that's why Jesus came to this earth, to take the power away from Satan, the power that Adam gave to Satan. Amen? So Jesus came, and defeated the devil on the cross and take that power and authority from Satan. Amen. Uh, even the enemy, Satan, he continued having this power over some people. Amen. And this system, manipulating things, causing all kinds of evil things and destruction. Man, that we have to know all these things. Okay, we have to be wise that we have an enemy, and that enemy is the devil, Satan, the ruler of this world. You see, but we cannot be afraid of the devil, but we have to be wise. You see, Jesus defeated the devil. And he gave back the authority and power to us, to us, the believers, the Christian, the born again children of God. He said, gave back the authority and power and dominion to us. That means the devil has no power over the believer life. Only if in the believer life is walking in disobedience. Now the devil can have authority and power over that person. Amen. And look for when Satan offered Jesus the kingdoms of this world and, and the authority and glory, Satan did it as the ruler of this world. Amen. As the ruler of this world in that time, Satan have the power, have the authority over the system of this world, amen. We all know that Jesus didn't fall in the trap of the enemy and his lie and his manipulation and his control, amen. But Satan, he got the power, the system of this world. 
Remember when Jesus said, my kingdom is not from this world. You see? Jesus was saying, after material things or the things of this world, that's why Satan can have no power, no authority over Jesus. Amen? Okay? Because he cannot have nothing on me. And we, let's continue, let's come back to John 14, in verse 31. Let's read again verse 30 and 31 together in John 14. I will no longer talk much with you for the rulers of this world is coming. He has nothing in me. You see, he has nothing in me. That's what Jesus said. He has nothing in me. Saying that I don't have nothing in me. He don't have nothing to control me and manipulate me and to get access to me. Okay. So Jesus was saying, okay, in verse 31, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandments, so I do arise, let us go from here. Okay? Satan okay. came to Jesus, you know. He always went around to see how he can control, manipulate Jesus. The same thing he does with the believer, he's around to see how he can manipulate believers. And we know the people that call themselves believers, they are fallen in, in awful things that we say, how, what, that happened? Yes, what happened, that person, for any reason, disobedience, whatever, loss of the flesh, you know, and the love of other things, and the love of the things of this world, the devil, Satan, yeah. The schemer see that in that person and he take advantage and, and influence that person and because that person has that witness in their life fall under the power of Satan. Okay. But Richard say clearly he has nothing in me. See. And that's the, the way we have to walk here in this earth. That Satan come to us trying to manipulate us, but he cannot find anything in us. Amen? Yeah. Our, our Lord Jesus gave you a, a, a road map how to live. Live for the will of the Father. Okay. That's it. Jesus said it. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and that the Father gave me commandments, so I do a right, let's go from here. You see, as the Father, as the Father gave me commitments, so I do. Amen. Obedience. See, we walk in obedience, Satan has nothing in us. If we walk according to the will of the Father, Satan has nothing in us. You can't look around, you're not going to find anything. See, that's what Jesus was saying. I have nothing in me. He can't come, but it, you know, I have nothing in me. I'm here to do the will of the Father. That's it. If we are a believer, we have another agenda in our life that the will of the Father, the devil can take advantage of that and, and, and cause damage in our life. His agenda is other than, than serve God and live for Him. And this will we be subject to the devil, the rulers of this world system. Amen. Let's go to look for when the devil came to tame Jesus, temptation time. Man, every word of God is true. And we have to learn from it. We have to learn from the word of God. No John really is, oh, I'm not a story. Okay. You have to pay attention to everything. That's what he said. To meditate on the word of God day and night. But to learn. There's something. Let's go. Are you there? Look for Let's start in verse 6. That we know all the temptation that happened here in, a, 
and and look for he came with different things attacking Jesus, tempting Jesus to see he can find any witness on Jesus. See anything that contrary to the will of the Father in Jesus' life and cannot find anything. Okay. Um, And verses, after all, all this, this temptation, the bread, the, the everything, when he said 14 days that there was tempting Jesus. Tempting by 40 days by the devil, imagine all those kind of temptation that he was throwing in Jesus. We, we read song here, but that's not all. That this is a summary of all the temptation that the, the devil came against Jesus. Okay. 40 days sentence. 40 days. And verses, and the devil said to him, All this authority, verses, I will give you and their glory, for they have been delivered to me. We know this, yes. They were delivered by Adam. By Adam, when he, he, he disobeyed God, he forfeit his, his authority. Remember, God gave the authority of the whole thing to Adam in the garden. He forfeited it there. Then the devil saying, they give it to me. See? He said, all this authority I will give it to you. And the glory for this have been delivered to me. Yeah, Adam delivered it to him. Give it to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. And that's the way the devil came to, to men, enticing them with things, and fall. And men been falling. Seeing Adam, men been falling after the thing of this world. And the, and the devil told the Jesus, what is the same like all those men that have been falling before his the day of temptations. All this our trial will give you in their glory, for this have been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. You see. And the devil said to Jesus, and verse seven, therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours. Oh, mm -hmm. will be yours. Verse 8 And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written. Okay. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. You see, only God will serve. Only God would serve. Only. We don't serve money. We don't serve fame. We don't serve things of this world. We serve God. The believer to say God. We don't serve God because they're blessing. They're blessing by product of their fellowship and connection with God in obedience to Him. But it's not I have to be the model or the engine behind us to serve him because blessing, because this and that, because fame, fame and other things. No, because God is God, is our Father. If we walk this way, we, we don't fall into the things of the devil. We don't fall into the power of the ruler of this world. Hallelujah. And we you, you you can read the whole chapter for a look. If you haven't read it lately, read it with. 
with uh, a new build. Okay, all those things that Lisa went through and he didn't fall. And many say, oh, because it was Jesus, because it was God. No, he did as a man. Okay. And look at what he said, yeah, 40 days were tempted by the devil. Imagine all the temptation that came over Jesus by the rulers of this world. The devil knew what, what he was doing, been doing that for many, many years. Remember, he did it to Adam. And he thought they couldn't come do it to Jesus too. The ruler of this world, the devil. See? Now Jesus answered the devil with the word of God. It is written. <laughs> For it is written. <laughs> Amen? And that's the way we have to be firm, established, and settled in the truth of the word of the God. Okay? And we cannot be moved by anything. When we come from by things, we say it is written. That's the way his answer to the enemy in verse 6. He said, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Man. It is written. You have to be settled, established in the truth of the word of God. And the will of God for your life settled and not be moved. See? Satan gonna come, the rule of the world gonna come. He did it with Jesus. No one dies. Not only in the time of temptation, but he always was around. All oh, was around. Look, we could look what is in and in. Luke chapter 4, verse 13. Let's read it. He said, Now when the devil has ended every temptation, you see, every temptation, <laughs> they come through to Jesus. Every temptation. He departed from him until an opportune time. After he threw all those temptations to Jesus. When he ended every temptation. Imagine, imagine all the temptation, you see. That's why Jesus said that there is no temptation to come to men. Because he went through all. And that's why Jesus said the the word of God tells us that. God give us the way to escape because Jesus went through all already for us. They will, when we be confronted with temptation, we have the way to escape too because it's the truth of the word of God. You see, that's our way to escape, to be established in the word of God, in the truth of who God is, who Jesus is. And that we're not alone. We're not alone. We're not alone. We're not alone. It is written. That's what you need to be established. When in John 14, Story. Jesus said, the ruler of this world is coming and nothing in me. You see, because Jesus was only forgetting the will of the Father. And yes, the enemy always was around, looking how to entice Jesus. He had nothing in Jesus. He, he didn't look for. 13, now when he, the devil, you see, 
all temptation was brought to us by the devil. Now when the devil had ended every temptation, every temptation in the book, he departed from him at the opportune time. Hmm. That, that, when I read this, I remember the first time when I like, what? The devil was to Jesus all the time to see what was when Jesus was in his worst moment to attack him. And you know what came to mind to me when Jesus was in the in, in, in the Mount Olive. When he was praying to him, sweat blood. You see, that was a weak time for Jesus. You don't, you don't think that the devil was around to see he can tell Jesus to make him to say, no, I'm not going to go through to this. It's too painful. The devil was around. That's what I come to mind to me. Because the devil said he was going to live alone until an opportune time. What a time was that? See, when all the sin of the world want to come upon Jesus, all the sin of the world, they want to be a ransom for the sins of men. See, that was a opportune time by the devil, for the devil. When Jesus did fall, he said, Father, you will be done, not my will. You see, what painful? Because Jesus said, you can let this cup to pass, but nevertheless, no my will, but you will be done. If we can let our imagination to go, we will see that the devil say, man, I lost my opportunity. I thought these fellows were going to fall. You see, Jesus didn't fall. Jesus didn't give in to the devil. He yield his body, even his body, his emotion, everything to the will of the Father. What was the will of the Father? That Jesus went to the cross. That's what the will of the Father. That's what the will of the Father. He had to go to the cross and pay for the sins of men. He yield his body. That's why Jesus was glorified. Because he went through with the will of the Father. His whole life here in this air was about the will of the Father. And the ruler of this world all were looking around to see when was that opportune time. Hmm. Imagine that. He sang in the garden, suffering, praying to the Father, swearing blood. The devil looking unto him. He's going to fall. The devil was thinking, and he fall, not my will, but your will be done. Hmm. Oh, think about that. Think about that. I can think about many things that I can do. But I say, no, not my will, but you will be done, my father. You will be done. You will be done. That's the only way we chop them out for the devil. Hallelujah. We don't yield for a moment to the rulers of this world, not for a second. Not for a second. Not for a second. The Lord Jesus pay a, a very, very high price for our, for our salvation, for our freedom. We yield with them in a, in a, in a, in a moment of weakness or moment of fear to yield to the devil. No, 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 no. No, our will. But you will be done. Hallelujah. Then we 
we put the the ruler of this world system in its place. Where the place of the ruler of the system, the devil is under our feet. That's why Jesus put it for us. He had to remain there because Jesus gave back the power and authorities to the believers. He gave all. He gave up all the power over the power of the enemy. The enemy has some power. But Jesus gave all the power, the power of the enemy. Hey, hallelujah. Mm. John chapter 12. Let's read verse 21. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 31, Jesus says in John 12, Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. Hmm. See, the ruler of this world is judged. And on the cross, Jesus to all the power, the Adam for freedom in the garden. They get all away from the enemy. Get back to the believers, to the sons and daughters of God. He did it. He was judged. The ruler of the world, Satan. He don't have power over you, believer. He don't have power over you, son and daughter of God. Glory to God. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. Glory, glory, Jesus. First John chapter 5. We're going to read verse 18 and 19. We know that we know that whoever is born of God does not sin, but who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. The wicked one, the devil, the ruler of this world, cannot touch you. Amen. Because you are born of God, you are son and daughters of God. Verse 19, we are not that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. The whole world, the whole human race, those that have been born again, those that are, they are not yet sons and daughters of God, they lie under the power of the enemy, under the authority of the ruler of this world. That's what we have to go and say, people, to take their people they under the sway of the enemy. Okay? That the gospel has to be continued be preaching the truth of the word of God. Because the devil, the ruler of this world, still have authority over those people that haven't been born again yet. Yeah. The whole world. And we know who are the whole world are those who have not been born again yet. Okay, that, those. Let's see another scripture where the ruler or prince of this world is a reporter of talk. was talking about it. Amen. John 16, John 16, 11. It's a judgment because of the rulers of this world 
is judge. The Bruno deal with the devil. Okay? Is the devil. The rulers of this world. Let's see another scripture, Second Corinthians. Corinthians 4. Verse 4 says, Whose minds the God of these ages has blinded, who did not believe that the life of the God of the glory for Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. You know, who is the God of this age? The devil, the ruler of the world, you see. Okay, what is that? He blind people. He manipulates people. They confuse people. He confuses people. So the people cannot hear the gospel. They try to start the people get saved. It's the devil. No God, because God, the will of God, that every man and woman be saved. In coming the, to the knowledge of God. That's it. That's the will of the Father. Okay. Who was the one who caused destruction? The devil. He is the thief. He is the killer. He is the murderer. He is the murderer. He is the pussy innocent people. God is good. He brings goodness to the people's life. And we have to spread that goodness, preaching the gospel, preaching the truth. Hallelujah. We have to do the will of our Father. No our will, but His will be done. And when we set in our hearts, when we hear for the will of the Father, the enemy, the ruler of this world, had nothing in us but Jesus. Say, the ruler of the world is coming by here and nothing in me. That Jesus said, we can say the same. If we all are about God's will. Amen. If we are all about God's will, it will have nothing in us. If your life is all about the will of the Father, you are okay. There will have nothing in you. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2 says, And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, and which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, that's the devil, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. See? Let's continue in verse 3. Among whom also we are once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. God saved us by his love, like he said here. But God was rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. And we know the one to try to start the people to get say the princes of the of this world or the ruler of this world, the devil. But God loves us. God loves people. And it's real to save people. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell me when, when people start accusing God or, or evil things or bad things that happen in this world. People are wrong, and some believers really believe that lie. That's a propaganda of the devil against God. We have to say the truth. Then, the truth of God is love. Ephesians 6 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against 
principality against power, against the rulers of, dark, of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hope of wickedness in the heavenly places. Amen? And you see, where the devil ruled, he ruled in this realm, enticing men and women to fall under his spell, under his life. That, that, that's why he does, the devil. That's why we are believers. We have to keep ourselves in the love of God. Keep ourselves in communion with God. Doing His will all time. No matter what, we have to be about God's will. And we be only ab about God's will, the ruler of this world, Satan. That he does have nothing in us. He never gonna have nothing in us. There's nothing to be afraid. Yeah, he's the rulers of the world. Jesus said it. But he had nothing in Jesus. And he had nothing in us here. If we walk in the will of God, if we only be interested about the will of God, and that's it. Okay. If we, in our lives about that, God will serve Him, glorify Him, the rulers of this world have nothing in us. Amen. Let's serve God with love, with passion, and walk with Him the unbroken fellowship. Communion with you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.